Hey people, I'm back with another video and today I have another edition of Nail Therapy Thursday and I'm going to be doing my nails today, okay? Y'all see, they looking like some nubs right now, but we finna fix and change that and get them looking nice and bright. So today I'm super excited. I'm going to be collaborating with a brand that I've worked with in the past. This brand is called Double Dip. You guys, they have some really great and awesome dip powders. I've actually done a video um, doing my nails for the first time using dip powder uh, with Double Dip products. So I'm going to leave that link down in the description below if you all want to check it out. But they were kind enough to send me their new Gelex dupe. And y'all have seen on my channel, I've been testing quite a few of these kits out. And I'm thrilled to give Double Dips a try because, like I said, I've worked with them in the past and I do like their products. So I have a feeling this isn't going to disappoint either. So yeah, you all, this is the kit right here. Um, it's uh, titled with Bella Vina, but it is the brand Double Dip. It's in some cute pink packaging, you guys. Really like this. I'm going to unbox it with you all face down so that you all can get a closer look at the products that's inside. Before I do that, though... I'm going to go ahead and show you all. They were kind of to also send me some dip powders. So like I said, I've worked with their dip powders in the past and just I didn't have any issues with it. It was really user friendly and beginner friendly. So the new colors they sent me are Golden Secret, okay, which is like a nice gold flake color. They also sent me Christmas Cookies, which is like kind of this pinkish reddish glitter. And then they also sent me um, Coastal Gabbana, which is like this really cute green, just, it, it reminds me of a Christmas tree. So yeah, and I think their packaging is super cute too with the silver lid. So yeah, you guys, I'm happy to be working with this company again. It is a small woman owned local business. And so I love supporting small local businesses. And yeah, let me hop right on into this tutorial. I'll see you shortly. Okay, so we are face down and we can get a closer look at these awesome products. So again, this is the Double Dip Bella Vina mini gel tip kit so yeah this is what the box looks like they do have this kit available on amazon that makes it really easy for you all to get your products especially if you have amazon prime so yeah that's what the packaging looks like here and then on the back it just gives more instructions on how to use the kit um, but it does come with the 15 ml gel glue 500 nail tips an led lamp and then a free gift so let's go ahead and box this and see what it comes with I'm going to leave everything linked down below that I'm using. They are actually on Amazon, so it's going to make it a lot easier for you all to get your products. And so I'm just going to take everything out here. So it comes with this, um, I'm assuming this is going to be the gel to adhere the tips. And it is, so it's the 4-in-1 base coat. So this is the 4-in-1 base coat. This is cute packaging. Then we also have our high quality nail tips, and it comes with 500. It also comes with some awesome rhinestones, so I'm assuming this is what the free gift was. And then it also comes with the awesome lamp, which is going to make your life so much easier. So I'm curious to know what the watts are on this lamp. Let's see, those are just some specs on it here. It says you can be used for UV gel, builder gel, LED gel. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's a 16 watt lamp. Wow, that's a pretty... That's a pretty, pretty high powered lamp there. So, especially for it being a mini lamp. So this is what it looks like here. Ooh, very nice. I'm really liking the packaging, you guys. So it comes with the cord here to plug in. And yeah, here we go. This is the lamp, that's nice. And it looks like it has an on off button, which is pretty awesome. I think a few of the kits that I've tried did not have an on off button so that's a nice feature and that's the company logo here let me show you all the colors that were sent to me okay so these are beautiful colors that were sent to me so the first one here is um coastal cabana there we go coastal cabana and this is what this color looks like oh my goodness doesn't this just look like a christmas tree i think that is so cute so that's one color here the next color is christmas kisses and this is also just like a really cute kind of pinkish red color with a little glitter to it so that's really cute and then we also have which i think is my favorite one golden secret a beautiful gold glitter with some flakes in it isn't that just beautiful you guys like look at that yeah i'm definitely using this color today i think i'm going to be using christmas cookie i'm sorry christmas kisses and golden secret so i'm gonna go ahead and size up my nails and prep my 
natural nails to get ready for adhesion so I'll be right back okay so I am back my nails have been filed shaped and buffed and the only thing I put on my nails here is just a peel off base coat because I don't think I'm gonna keep these nails on for too long but let's hop right on to the tutorial okay so first you're gonna need their mini LED lamp okay so I have this nice and handy I did go ahead and size all of my tips off camera so these are all the ones that fit and again I just want to give you all a closer look at these tips and how they look so it is a nice coffin shape here I think these tips are really nice they're like soft and flexible here at the base and then here at the tip it is a nice strong it is nice and strong so yeah um, I'm excited to give these tips a try and the only thing I did to prep my tip is I just etched the inside of it with a file and once you etch the inside of the nail your tips are ready to be applied so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the 4-in-1 base coat um, let me read the instructions actually I didn't do that okay so these are the instructions here let me just go through and read them really quick so yeah so I'm gonna first I'm gonna go ahead and coat all of my nails with this 4-in-1 base coat here let's see what the consistency of it is like Okay. It's a nice thick gel. Okay. So we're going to apply this to all the nails first. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and, and do our tip application. So, we have this here. And I'm going to go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. So, that's been cured for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to go ahead and go ahead with my tip application. So normally what you want to do is rub the inside of the tip with some of the nail glue, like so. And I found it easier to just kind of leave a little glob here at the, t at the edge of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn my lamp on here, like so. And then you'll flip it over. You'll go from the base first, like this, and then apply it all the way down and then cure and go underneath the lamp okay that's on feeling nice and secure and I'm gonna go through and do the rest of the nails like that Okay, so now that all the tips have been applied, I'm going to go ahead and cure this in my big lamp for, actually I'm going to go ahead and cure it for two minutes just to make sure the glue is fully cured. And then from there, I'm going to file, shape, and buff the nails and we'll be ready for application. Okay, so this is what the nails look like after they've been filed, shaped, and buffed. I actually saved the thumbnail. I want to show you all how I do that here on camera. So what you want to do is go around the edges and get any of the gel that may have spewed out. I think I did pretty good on this thumbnail, but I'm just going to kind of touch it up just a little bit anyway. So that's how you file around the cuticle area. And then I just take a buffing block and then I just buff the shine off of the natural nail. I mean, off of the, the nail tip here, like so. Okay, and so that's what I did to prepare all of these nails. So next we're going to go with application. So I actually don't have any um, of the double dip uh, dip liquids. So and I was going to apply using the gel method, but I've shown it on my channel a couple of times. You all know I'm actually getting into acrylic application a little bit more. And um, from what I can see, this can also not only be used as a dip powder, but also as just a regular acrylic um, using monomer. So that's how I'm actually going to apply this today. So yeah, first I'm going to go in with this beautiful golden secret color here. And I'm just going to apply it to my ring finger. And then on all the other fingers, I'm going to apply Christmas kisses to um, all the other fingers except my ring finger. So y'all wish me luck on this okay so y'all know i'm still practicing my acrylic application here i guess i gotta do it facing me huh and so i'm gonna just go in here and get a little bit on my brush and then i'm gonna just lay it down Ooh, okay feels easy enough Really pretty. Okay. 
I'm gonna go over just a little bit more here. I'm gonna try to get it up there nice to the cuticle. Brush down. Yeah, this works really great as an acrylic powder. I'm not mad at it. Okay, double dip. I don't hate with your bad selves. I don't hate with your bad self. I'm not mad at this at all. Okay. Yeah, this is applying beautifully as an acrylic. I love it. Just another bead here right at the cuticle and I think I'm good with this now. Wow, that was really quick application. I'm not mad at that. Just a really small bead here just to fill that corner in. Okay, I think I got some on my skin. So they say if you get it on your skin, just go around really quick and wipe. down the side wall here just like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful. Okay. So this is what Golden Secret is looking like. How stunning is this color though? Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so that's Golden Secret. Okay. Next I'm gonna go in with Christmas Kisses and apply it to all the other nails. I like working with my acrylics a little bit wetter. I think that allows me for easier application when I'm working with acrylic powders. Okay, so that's that. Next, I'm gonna go in, and like I said, I'm gonna do the rest of my nails with this color. I'm tempted to do, hold on, let me see here. I'm tempted to use this Coastal Cabana color. Let me see if I actually wanna use it or not. Maybe, actually I think that looks kinda cute though. I think I am going to go in with the Coastal Cabana. I kind of like this color. I think for me, I like to do my cuticle area first when I'm doing acrylics. Because once I get the cuticle area right, then I kind of don't have to worry about it anymore. So I think that's going to be my goal whenever I'm doing acrylics moving forward. It's just, yeah, working that cuticle line because that's the part that I'm struggling with right now. Alright, so this is what the thumb is looking like. Alright. It's a little lumpy, but I'm gonna try to fix that here with some filing. And then I actually want to go on with that Coastal Cabana here on the middle finger. So let me grab that color. 
I wasn't gonna do that at first, but we can get it now. It's so pretty. I gotta put it to use, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this cuticle all worked up first. Ooh, that's a pretty color. And I'm not even really a big green person, but that is gorgeous. Perfect. I feel like now that I got my cuticle out the way, I can work a lot easier. But doesn't this look like a Christmas tree? How pretty is this color? Okay, y'all. So this is what the nails are looking like after I've applied all of the colors to each of the nails and applied a just a clear acrylic on top just to encapsulate everything. So I'm going to go ahead and try to file, shape, and buff. And then we're gonna try to go ahead and bling this set out, okay? So I'm not really sure how to file down acrylic, but I'm gonna just go in with some of these different bits and see which one kind of works best for me. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go in and just see if I can get this stuff not looking so lumpy. <laughs> Hey y'all, so this is the best that I could do with filing and shaping. Um, I'm realizing now that uh, with that acrylic, if it looked lumpy underneath when you applied it, it's gonna look lumpy when you apply the clear on top. So I have to practice my acrylic application a little bit better, but overall y'all, these colors look stunning. I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe off all the excess dust here. Okay. So this is what I got so far. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just go in with a top coat um, and then we will get to blinging it out. Wow. Look how beautiful that is. That is stunning. Holy smokes. That is gorgeous. This is an absolutely beautiful color. I love it. Okay. That's really nice. Okay. Oh my God. Wow. I am loving these colors, y'all. These glitters are giving me life right now. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am loving these colors. Do y'all see how that just comes to life when you put that top coat on? Like, holy smokes. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Okay, let me calm down over here because this stuff is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. When I say stunning, absolutely beautiful. Wow, yeah, I love that. Yeah, y'all, these colors are stunning. Like, look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, let's get into it though, yes. Okay, so this is what it's looking like after. I went back in and did a little bit more shaping to this nail and this nail. I mean, this is the best I could do. Um, this is my first time, like I said, applying acrylic over tips for actually applying acrylic to my nails in general. And so, yeah guys, let me know how I did. And I'm gonna go ahead and bling these out because you know this kit did come with some nice pretty rhinestones and I'm all about blinging stuff out these days so let me go ahead and do some designs on these nails I'm really liking how these two nails are looking on their own so I think I want to just do some stuff to this nail and then bling out my thumb and I'm gonna leave the rest as is because it's looking so cute already I might actually a lot I might I might add some small rhinestones to this one but we'll see so I have already prepped my rhinestones here and my thought was on this nail I wanted to do some snowflakes and diamonds on this nail I wanted to do a peppermint swirl and then on this nail I wanted a blinged out Christmas tree so that's what we gonna do with this y'all so first I want to do my nail art okay I'm gonna use a white gel polish here and this is gonna be just for my pinky nail like I said I just want to do like some peppermint swirls on it so that's what I'm gonna do here Okay, 
okay that's not looking how I want it to look so I'm gonna take this off and redo that so that's looking pretty good to me I'm gonna go ahead and take one of my brushes and clean it up here I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Alrighty, so that's what the candy cane nail is looking like. Next on here, I want to do some snowflakes and some rhinestones. So here are the snowflakes that I have here. I'm gonna apply these snowflakes with some rhinestones. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, Double Dip Bellavina 4-in-1 base coat to apply my rhinestones with. So I'm gonna do a coat just over that whole entire nail because I'm gonna be placing the rhinestones and the snowflakes kinda of all over. So that's that coat here. And it's just a thin coat. It doesn't have to be a thick coat at all. Okay. And then I'm gonna just take my little snowflakes here and put them over the nail. Like so. Yeah, so we have this here. We got our snowflakes on here. Okay, and then I'm gonna just add some rhinestones in the open spaces. So, I'm gonna take these little ones here, and we're just gonna add a little bling, y'all. We're gonna bling bling it out, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for a full 60 seconds. So that's what the snowflakes and bling look like. I think on this nail here, I do wanna add just a little something. I'm just gonna add some white dots. And then I found a cool little charm that I wanna put on this nail. So let's do that really quick here. I'm gonna add some white dots on it just to kinda of bring that kinda of Christmas tree nail to life. So I'm just gonna dot randomly on the nail. Okay, so that's what that's looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure that for 10 seconds. And then on this ring finger here, I actually found a charm that I've been dying to use. So we have a cute little reef here, okay? So we're gonna add that reef to the nail just like this. How cute is that gonna be, y'all? Yeah, so I'm, again, I'm gonna use the Double Dip Bellavina 4-in-1 base coat to apply my rhinestone here. And I'm just gonna put just a nice amount of it here on the middle of the nail, just to make sure I'm fully encapsulating this entire gem. And then I'm just gonna take it with my hand because it's so big and just drop it right into the gel here. And then once I get it nice and centered where I want, I'm gonna go ahead and cure it for a full 60 seconds, okay? Okay, perfect. Look at that, how cute y'all. So the last thing I wanna do is, I'm applying a blinged out Christmas tree to this nail, and I've already kinda gotten everything ready to go. So this right here is my Christmas tree, y'all. And these are the rhinestones that came in the kit. We are going to put this on the thumb, okay? We going all out for Christmas this year, y'all. We going all out. I say all or nothing right now. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put it pretty much on the entire nail here just to make sure that um, I have plenty of glue to, you know, adhere everything. So we have that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start placing the crystals, you guys. <clears throat> Once you have the tree placed the way you like it, you'll go ahead and cure for a full 60 seconds. So I'll go ahead and do that. Alrighty, so this is what this is looking like. It's beginning to look off like Christmas. <laughs> look at this blinked out Christmas tree, y'all. Let's get icy, okay? Let's get icy. All right, I'm actually really enjoying this set a lot. So the last thing I'm gonna do is go in with my top coat and then y'all, we're gonna be all done with this beautiful, nice blinked out Christmas set. So let go. So when applying this top coat, um, you wanna make sure you don't get anything on the actual rhinestones. I'm gonna go for the low hanging fruit here and just apply it to the nails that don't have any rhinestones. And go ahead and get that taken care of first because you know, 
the rhinestones, once you get gel on it, they don't shine as pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my pinky, my middle finger, and then um, the one that has this charm on it, I'm gonna apply it to that as well, okay? And this charm, you just wanna kinda get around it. So I'm gonna come up real close to it, okay? And then I'm gonna kinda come around it here on the sides. Here in the back, I wanna get it. And then on the other side here, we're gonna go and get it like so. And then I'm gonna take my detailer brush here. It has some of the top coat on it and I just wanna go around and kinda just make sure it's kinda fully encapsulated in a sense. So now that that's good, I'm gonna go ahead and go in and get my Christmas tree. Again, you really wanna avoid getting any type of top coat on the tree because once this rhinestone gets top coat on it y'all the bling ain't gonna be as pretty so that's what we're gonna do here so i'm gonna go ahead and flash cure this for 10 seconds as well and then on this nail i kind of want to just go ahead and get around the rhinestones first i think i'm gonna actually just go ahead and do the whole nail with with this detailer brush because i really don't want to mess up those rhinestones and then i'll just cure encapsulate the snowflakes while i'm at it all right you guys ain't she cute though look at this christmas is in the building okay i am loving how these nails turned out do y'all see my bling christmas tree okay i'm talking i see y'all i see i am loving how this set turned out okay yeah so what do you guys think i did use the double dip bellavina mini gel tip kit and I'm absolutely loving it, y'all. And what do y'all think about my acrylic application, okay? Because these three colors from Double Dip are given, okay? I am loving this set, okay, y'all? So, yeah, let me know how I did with this set. Do y'all like my bling Christmas tree? Because I'm really feeling her, okay? Like, she cute, though, okay? And y'all see my little wreath? Okay. So, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Definitely go and check out this kit from Double Dip Bella Vina. Like, this kit is legit, though. I absolutely had an easy time working with it. I love this little LED lamp that came. Like, I'm feeling this whole situation right now. So, yeah, and these colors are just absolutely stunning. So, I do have a discount code. Um, if you use the code ROSA20, you'll get 20% off of your order. So, I am going to leave that here on the screen. And I'm going to link all the products that I used here in this video in the description box. So, definitely make sure y'all check this kit out. I definitely think it's well worth it. This kit is actually on Amazon, too. And it's only $20, y'all. So, I was able to get this look for 20 bucks. okay? Okay, let's go so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video again thank you to Double Dip for sending me these products they were absolutely amazing to work with I hope you all are having a wonderful holiday season definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments I'm gonna be super excited to hear what you all think about this set yeah I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I would love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!